Hey guys, this is Joel with TFB TV. I am here at 2019 SHOT Show with Daniel at Daniel Defense. We are going to talk about the new Delta 5 rifle today. You want to go ahead and give us some of the, the rundown and the features? Absolutely. So we start off, we've got a stainless steel action as well as a stainless steel barrel. All of this is Daniel Defense designed. Uh, it's, the action is based on a three lug design uh, with a floating bolt head. It's going to have a Seiko type extractor with an M16 ejector. That floating bolt head allows us to be extremely tight when we're locked up, but as soon as we open and come to the rear, we are actually able to clear dirt and debris, ice, snow, whatever you may come across. Um, the action has an integral recoil lug that goes 360 degrees around the receiver. That allows us to do a couple things. One, it trues up the uh, receiver when it's being turned into the mini chassis, which is our mechanically bedding system. The other thing it does is it gives us a shoulder. With, when you have a, a pick section mounted on top, it'll come with a 20 minute of angle pick. Um, that forces the pick forward into that recoil lug so we don't have to worry about that base moving forward underneath recoil. Uh, moving forward, you actually see our barrel nut. We have a quick change barrel system. Uh, do it on the back of your tailgate or in the garage or on the kitchen counter if your wife allows you. Uh, you just have to remove your two bottom screws. That's going to allow your barrel to action to be removed. And just like an AR-15, you're just going to loosen that barrel nut up, be able to pull the barrel out. It has an extension just similar to an AR-15. You're going to put your new barrel back in, tighten your barrel nut back on, drop the barrel to action into the stock, and then tighten up those two bolts again. What makes that able to repeat is, again, that mechanically bedded mini chassis, as well as the fact that our bottom metal has integral pillars. Those pillars are going to set our height and compression in the stock, so we don't have to worry about thermal uh, deviation or as well as humidity. One of the biggest things on this stock is, again, it's Daniel Defense designed carbon fiber reinforced polymer. We have our adjustable comb that's allowed for elevation change as well as drifting to the right or left for the shooter and tow in and tow out to make sure that we have a line contact with our cheek and not a point contact with our cheek. The length of pull system is based on half inch or quarter inch spacers. You're able to adjust your length of pull for the correct eye relief. And since people are starting to shoot larger and larger pieces of glass when reaching long range, we made this system able to move up one inch to make sure you have a good shoulder weld. Going back to the bottom metal, we accept AICS pattern magazines from a single feed. The bottom metal has an ambidextrous release on either side, and then it has an integrated barrier stop if you need to push up against a fence or a barricade. The trigger is a Timney Elite Hunter. It's gonna be a single stage trigger. It breaks at a crisp three and a half pounds. It is user adjustable down to one and a half and all the way up to four and a half if you happen to be hunting in cold weather conditions with thick gloves. It has a two position safety, and we are able to manipulate the bolt while the rifle is in safe. Going to probably the most important thing about this rifle is our cold hammer forged barrel. Our cold hammer forged barrel uh, not only does the bore and our chamber at the same time like we do in our AR line, but we actually forge the contour of the outside of this barrel. That means that the concentricity between the outside of the barrel, the inside of the barrel, and the chamber are all lined up, making for a very true and straight barrel. And then to finish it off, we have 5H24 threading on the end of the barrel. To put your suppressor or brake of choice on the end, it'll come with a, a thread protector. And then we have a recessed target crown with an 11 degree crown on it. Very good. This is great. So guys, I also want to throw in there that I went to a media event for Daniel Defense uh, back in the fall and uh, had a chance to um, put this rifle through its paces. And I love it, you know, you guys know me for being a precision rifle guy. Um, I compete in the PRS and those sorts of things. I'm a hunter. And I do feel like this rifle would uh, would do well in kind of all those environments. The one downside that I, and I wrote about this in my TFB article, you guys can check that out, um, was originally the bolt, a uh, part of the bolt handle uh, was made out of out of MIM. And it resulted in kind of a, um, a feel that was not the best. But you guys were already on top of it when we were in the middle of the, uh, the media event. They, were, they already had a fix for it. They were already squaring that away. And I have to tell you, it feels considerably better now. Um, it's very smooth. And so what did you do to change that? Can you, guys, can you help people figure that out? Yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. So originally we had a, a, a MIM bolt arm design that we tried to use to uh, make it a little bit more smooth, easier for uh, the machinist to not hate me as much. <laughs> um, 
we decided that after some endurance testing that we weren't just happy with those results. So we went to a machine design. Uh, we all, y'all were shooting prototypes that day, and, and sadly we weren't done with this design yet uh, through manufacturing. Yeah. Uh, but since to change it, we have press fit this arm onto the bolt body, and then we laser weld 360 degrees all the way around. And it's not the arm welded onto the body, it's the arm portion, so it's a full cylinder connection right there. Yeah. It's a much stronger design, and it's uh, it helps with the geometry as far as the lift and everything. Yeah, and you've coated it now too, there's some smoothness there. That is that is correct. So the, the entire bolt assembly is DLC coated. Um, that is helps with lubricity as, as well as um, uh, making sure that we have a nice slick surface. Yeah. And explain those three little holes in the bottom of the bolt, because I know that's a pretty <laughs> cool feature. I, I found it pretty cool anyway. Yeah, so if you see on the bottom of the bolt, there are three vent holes here. What that is, is um, in, in the bolt gun world, a little bit more so than the semi-auto world, people try to get every single foot per second they can. So that means they're going to be loading up, loading up, loading up on their cartridges. Maybe pushing primers out, maybe having a case failure just because the guys are, are pushing for everything they can get. So we wanted to make sure that when they had a case failure, if they accidentally overcharged or became outside of Sammy spec, that the gas would flow down and it actually will blow out the magazine well or into the magazine if you have a catastrophic failure instead of your face. That's so yes, you will have to replace the magazine, but you won't have to replace your face. That's a good thing, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, from Daniel Defense here today talking about the new Delta 5 rifle. I'm pretty excited about this thing. I can't wait to get my hands on it for some T&E. Uh, you'll see more from me on the Precision Rifle Network on this rifle coming soon. Daniel, thank you very much. Absolutely. Appreciate all the information. Tune in uh, soon, guys, for more videos from 2019 SHOT Show and TFB-TV.